Good afternoon everyone. My name is Susan and I am from SoCal Solar Panel Cleaning Company and today I will be showing you how to book a customer that I have already spoken to about getting their solar panels cleaned. So I, I already talked to them about the date that I'm going to be scheduling them for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to schedule and you're going to see your calendar and I'm going to book them for Sunday, September 10th at 8 a.m. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to click on job. And I'm going to click on new customer. And here I will put in all the information on the customer. I'm going to put in my information because I am pretending that I am the customer. Put in their phone number. Make sure you get the correct spelling of their first and last name. Make sure you get a correct phone number, contact number, because this is very important because you will be sending out a notification to their phone number and also to their email if they prefer that as well. So the next thing you're going to do is put in their email information. Then you're going to type in their address. Now as you can see when I typed in the number to the address, here is a list of the addresses that popped up and you will find the one that belongs to the customer. So I'm going to click here and here Google Maps found it, has the city, state, and zip code. It automatically puts it in because it, they found it right away. Now if the customer has specific instructions um, to get for their to do the job at their house, for example if they say they're gonna leave the side gate open because I will not be home, you can type in customer in the customer notes you're gonna put in the instructions that they left for you so I'm going to type in customer said that they will leave the side gate open. Then once I'm done putting in all the information, make sure you double check everything. First, last name, phone number, email. Always important to double check the spelling of their email, their address any notes, click on create customer. As you can see here is the profile of the customer. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the line items section right here and like I said this is a solar panel cleaning job so I'm going to type in under services and to type in solar panel cleaning on a two-story home. I always like to ask the customer how many panels they have. If they know, you're going to type it in right here under this description. 14 panels, for example. If you know how much you quoted them, let's say for example $100, you're going to type it in right here and here it shows on their invoice what you're charging them to clean their solar panels. Then the next thing I'm going to do is go to schedule and I told them that I was going to schedule them on September 10th at 8 o'clock a.m. I like to give a two hour window for our, guy, our guys to get to their location so I'm going to put changes to 10 o'clock so it gives them a two hour window to get to the location of solar panel cleaning. 
Now, you can put here, if you have more than one tech to do the job, they're going to be listed here and you're going to add them to the job so that they so that the tech knows who's going to uh, the customer knows who's going to be going to clean their solar panels. So right here we have Henry Sanchez right here. Then once you schedule them, you put in their amount of how much you're charging. This is how it's all going to look like. Now this is all done on, on the computer when you book a customer on the computer. It's a little different when you do it on the phone, but right now I'm just showing you how we are doing it on the computer. Now on the tech guy that is, our tech that is going to the job, if there's a note that you wanna tell them, like for example, if the customer has a gate code, you can always message put the message here under private notes and let's say the gate code is pound one two three four this lets the tech know that there is a gate code to get into the community property of where the residence is at so the tech will see this on their app and they will know that there's a gate code to get to the residence. Once you've completed doing putting all this information, you click on save job. And here you have a, the job that's been scheduled all your information's inputted into your house call pro then when the day uh, so the customer will get a notification that they've been booked and they will get it by the phone number that you put in and or the email or both they will get a notification the day uh, um, when you book them for their appointment. Now on the day of, the customer will get a notification that the tech is on their way to your house. And the way they will find out is when the tech clicks on on my way and they're gonna go here and it lets the customer know, it gives them a notification on their phone that the tech is on their way to their house. A lot of customers like this because they gives them enough time in case they stepped out running an errand, they know that the tech is on their way so they have time to get back to the house or whatever the case may be. If they're at work, they get a notification, they know that somebody is arriving at their house. Now once they get to the location, the tech is going to click on start and it lets us know that the tech is going to be starting to do the work on the customer's house and they all they do is just click start. So once the job is complete, the tech on the job will be clicking on finish. Once they click on finish, it lets the customer know that the job is complete at their house. And all there is left is the invoice. Now when the customer gets a notification that the job is finished, they automatically get a review link to let the customer know if they want to leave a review. Next, I'm going to click on Invoice. And here is an example of our invoice that we have here. And this is what the customer will see. If, for example, they are not home, we can send this to them and they could pay it 
online. If they want to play, pay in person, they can do that as well. We give them that option. Now, if the check on the job takes before and after pictures and they can download them onto House Call Pro, and all you do, if you want to send pictures to your customers, you click on the attachments, the little paper clip right here on the top, on the right hand corner, on the right hand, and here will pop up all the pictures that the technician put took on their phone at the job site, and all they do is click attach. It will already, it will automatically be attached once the technician downloads all the pictures. The customer will receive all the pictures, including the invoice. So once this is all set and ready to go, click here next. And the customer has an option. We let them know, would you like your invoice sent to you by email or by text if, for example, they are not home. We can't do both. We can't send them both email and text. It only gives us the option to send them one or the other. So for example, if I send it by email, I could send it by email. This is the information that pops up. Pictures will show up here on the bottom. Then we click send. So now if it's been paid you can go back here you can go back to invoice and you can send them a receipt this will show up as paid it will be in green and it'll show paid in full so once the customer is paid in full you can reset you can send them a receipt with their pictures the same way by email or text and the customer will receive all the information of their job that was completed. So this is all there is to creating the customer, booking the customer, scheduling them, creating the invoice. I will be making more videos on other um, on other options that we have in using House Call Pro. House Call Pro has a lot of things that you can do with this program. But that will be on the next video. But I just wanted to show you step by step from beginning to end on creating a customer and booking them on your schedule. If you have any questions, you can feel free to give me a call my name is Susan from SoCal Solar Panel Cleaning Company and you can give me a call at 909-552-1381. Thank you very much. Hope everyone has a good day.